boys, Mickey and Derek from the Nature Boys. Yep. Um, right now we're going through the second chapter, um, pre-emergency pre schooling. Learning to observe. Yeah, learning to how to observe things. The first thing is finding out who is accident prone. Like maybe some of these people. Um, no case in points. <laughs> tons of them. Yes. Um. Basically, finding out who's more likely to get hurt, trip, fall, have an accident, possibly die yeah. along the way, but we yeah. hope to prevent that for years to come. Um, other than that, that's that's one of the major things we'll get into a little bit. If you um, bring a lady who's addicted to her phone, don't tell her to leave her phone. Trust me, she'll fall so many times if she's on her phone. Yes. Uh, case in like point bring there a walkie-talkie or something, so then she can't like be texting the whole time. Um. No fun. But for, for the uh, second point, um, training is training is training. Train your interest in nature. Basically, go outside and find something that gets your interest. Like, you know, go out fishing, or hiking. possibly do some biking, hiking, hunting, just or just overall camping, or having just, a bonfire. Just hanging out in the woods. Um, basically get something that it's like, you know, that's kind of neat. I'd like to learn more, or maybe I'd like to do more, or, yeah. you know, whatever. Be a little more adventurous. Um, the next thing would be sounds um. and smells. Which, unfortunately, I have to listen to this kid all the time, and he smells like whatever. I just took a shower. Exactly. So, basically, listen for the sounds and look for certain smells. Like, like yeah. right now, I hear a dog barking in the background. Because I can tell you, it's a small dog, way off, and, you know, all that stuff. Directional hearing, stuff like that. Um, smells... Every so often you'll get a small, couldn't really What's smell it? that, but you know, it's wood, bark. Um, sometimes you'll get a smell of a tree, like the scent of um, pine or oak or the smell of a fart even. But, you know, normally there's good smells and bad smells. And, you know, you'll tell the difference between all of them. And that's me paying attention. I didn't get hurt. Yeah. So anyway, um, the next one would be reading correctly. That's basically, you know, paying attention, looking like to see what's around you. Like right now, we're at a park. Yeah. And as you can see, there's a cemetery behind me. You know, that's reading correctly. Basically seeing, hey, I'm in a place where, you know, it's like, all right, there's all these different things. Yeah. All right, big whoop. Um, and you know, as for all that stuff, we'll we'll actually be going into a little more depth. We'll actually um, be out a little more hunting and you know, doing what we can to actually show you guys what to look for, what to read for, and you know, stuff like that. What to smile for, what to listen for, and you know, all the different things. Um, the third part, the third chapter, is when emergencies may occur, and trust me, there, there are a good handful that will occur, um, and that's something we, we want to try and help you avoid as much as possible. Um, the first thing is fishing hazards. A lot of people think, oh, I'm a really good fisherman, blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm a really good fisherman, too. There are times where I actually got a hook in my finger. Um, close to my face, in my, in my leg. Um, there are times where I've been cut by accident, where I accidentally grabbed the wrong, a fish the wrong way and got me, or, or even with, you know, yeah, uh, even where you fish, oh, you might... if you're fishing in an ocean like an idiot, like a shark. That yeah, too. But anyway, um, okay. there, there's a lot of hazards where you don't really, you take for granted. Um, like... Like if you're wading in water, you know, you, you don't know like how strong the current is or, or anything like eels. that. Um, yeah, and, and there's you know there okay. might be something swimming you don't see, and next thing you know again. Um, the next thing it would be birds and animals. This is um, yeah. Or 
I mean, and there, there's various sizes of game, like small Bear. game, like squirrels, shit monks, yeah. all the way up to, yeah. you know, bears. coyotes and wild dogs and bears and Rats. maybe this kid. You never know. Yeah, um, big game. Yeah. As far as certain things, you, you, you know, you want to look, keep your eyes on the ground and, you know, up in front of you. So that way you see where you're going and you're also tracking what kind of animals might be around like squirrel, chipmunk, coyote, fox, deer, yeah. um, excuse me. It also depends on your location too. Yeah. Um, the what? biggest thing is actually looking out for worn out trails um, along with droppings and Stuff like that. Um, is there anything you want to um, add to it? Or? Well, there's a dick behind us. I mean, observe that, of course. Yeah, <laughs> besides that. Oh, well. Um, really, if you do hear a bear or something, be careful. Don't go chasing after it. Don't try screaming or running away from it. Just walk slowly, as I think, and just be careful. Yeah, he does have a good point. Um, I'll, I'll just kind of go over that a little bit. Um, we, I will also be teaching you different ways to defend yourself. Um, like with bears, they have a really incredibly acute sense of smell. That means it's really good. But they also have poor eyesight, which means they have a hard time seeing you rather than smelling you. Um, one of the bigger things is you know, raising your hands up, making yourself look bigger than you really are. And if you're near any rocks or anything like that, pick a couple of them up and actually smash them together because they have really good hearing too. And that will actually drive them off. Um, another tip is uh, run downhill. They have a very hard time carrying their weight like that and run a zigzag formation so that way they won't be able to, they, they can't really counteract what they're doing. So therefore you're more likely to get away from them. And always remember, pay attention. Yep. That's all. <laughs> so we hope you stay tuned and uh, we'll keep you posted on whatever other videos and so I feel like that will post up. So yep. please stay tuned. Add us on Facebook. Play safe. Play safe. Camp safe. Have fun.